Yo, what's up everybody? KP here, and today I'm going to show you all how I do Crash Landed. This is going to be kind of like a overview type of tutorial. So I'm going to go over the main points, and if you want to see me get more into detail about certain aspects, leave a comment down below, and then I'll see if I make another video on top of that. Alright, let's jump into it. So basically, we start off by trying to do the level pretty quickly, so I'm just going to be talking briefly a bit about this skip as we move throughout this... Um, beginning portion here it's important to be pretty fast for the most part and consistent because the way the camera works in this game it affects this skip if i'm not mistaken it's pretty weird but basically if you're not fast enough in the beginning you risk failing the skip so you're just gonna see me just what i'm doing here is basically good enough to help you land the skip and if you die in this skip Sadly, um, you have to restart the whole level or else the visual cues won't work. So I'm going to be teaching y'all how I do the skip with visual cues. And I'll be pausing the video and circling certain aspects. So I'm going to pause right here. So what I just did right now is I just changed my FPS to 30 FPS. So that way I can do a zombie. For this skip, you need to know how to zombie. Because that is a huge important factor in landing this skip. So the zombie is important for us to be able to float around the level and land into the finish level crate. So basically what I did right now is I just lowered my FPS to 30 because 30 FPS makes it easier to land the zombie. Alright, so I the way I pause buffer is kind of weird. I usually pause right before I'm going to die. I use my right hand and I actually press my thumb on the touchpad. So I press it initially once. And then that's my first pause. And then now what I do for the next pause is to find that frame to get the zombie. I use my left thumb. It's kind of weird. But then I start pause buffering with my left thumb and pressing circle with my right thumb. So it'll look something like this. So I'll be doing that. I can get more into detail if you guys want to see that. But I basically go for the zombie. And I use an audio cue for the zombie to find that frame that we can get the zombie. So I'll pause when that frame appears. So I found my frame. I don't know if you guys heard it, but it was that noise that played. Like that specific noise plays every single time you um, die. And so how I know I landed on the perfect frame to land the zombie, you hear that noise. So that's what I'm looking for every time I... Um, pause buffer to find frame find a to pause buffer in order to get the zombie so i'm looking for that frame and so that audio cue tells me exactly which frame that is all right i'll replay the sound for you so that way you can hear it that's what i use to get my pause buffer down and land the zombie all right and here i put my fps back to unlimited so that way it feels nice and smooth and from here on out i'm just going to be navigating up to the turtles right here and then I slide spin jump so that way I fall down fast and then in other areas when I'm over a platform I press jump so that way it counts as my double jump and I fall down faster and then over here this is where we start getting some important visual cues so I'm gonna pause the video right here just about bam so you see that um center of that tree right there i'll circle it or it should be circled already i like to press jump when i'm to the right of that and so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to land on that like pink goo there's like a small section you'll see it when i land there and if you slide off it you will get the ice momentum and with that ice momentum it'll help you land the skip using these visual cues and you finish the level faster so when I'm to the right of this, that's when I press jump. So let's continue. Alright, so right here in this section, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the fast speed. I mean, the fast slide momentum, like the ice physics. And so there's like a strip of this like pink stuff that you can land on. From like right here upwards. I'll, I'll circle it. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to make sure I land and then do my slide. If I don't do, if I don't land first, I'll just end up body slamming. Or if I just completely miss that section, I'll just end up body slamming. 
And so when I do the slide, it's important for me to not do it in a 180 degree movement because if you move crash in 180 degrees, you lose your ice momentum. So actually, if you go for the slide and you do the slide, but you don't get the fast speed, it's because you weren't, you um, probably changed directions too quickly and you did like over 180 degrees. It has to be less than 180 or else you'll lose that uh, momentum. So here we are. I'll continue the video. So I, you can kind of see my inputs too, how I end up doing it. And you can see that I don't do full 180 degrees. I kind of like do like a quarter circle kind of motion, but I'm making sure I'm holding right that entire time. So I'm going to pause right here. So you see that green thing? I'm going to circle it. This right here, this kind of helps me navigate where to go. So I know as long as I see this, oh, I go upwards a little bit. And so that helps me know where to go next. So once I find that, I kind of know where to go. And then we'll pause over here. So finding that green piece leads me to here or helps me navigate towards here. And once I'm here, you can see like this section right here. I'll, I'll circle it again. <laughs> um, once I'm there, as long as I like go in between, everything's all fine. So I just keep holding left. And then I'm going to pause again at another important visual cue. All right. You see this thing right here? Once that goes off screen, then I go diagonally up left. Do diagonal up left. Okay. And then once the camera angle changes, I'm going to pause it right here again. So once it's changed, what I end up doing is I have to go to the right. But the thing is, how I told you earlier, if you go full 180 degrees, you lose your ice momentum. So you'll see me turn kind of slow. Because I'm making sure that I don't lose that ice momentum. And I take a flat angle to the right, like instead of going straight diagonal right, because there's actually like a wall right there. If you're not careful, you can bump into it. So I just like to play it safe and go all the way to the right. With a slight angle or... A flat angle as I like to say and so for this next phase what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go all the way to the right and with my right fist I want to be able to at least touch the snorkel I overshoot it a little bit right now you'll see see how I went past it a bit but once I basically get crashes right fist towards that snorkel then that's my cue like okay I can go diagonal up left I'm gonna be moving towards the second snorkel now this one's really important what I want to do is I want to get Crash's right fist, and I want it to basically punch that Snurgle. So this line up right here, right there. So once his fit, right fist is lined up, I just hold straight up. That's all I do. Hold straight up. And then once we reach a certain other visual cue, that is when I will press jump, and then we will hopefully land at the end of the level. <laughs> that is the plan. And so I will pause right here just to show you where exactly when we'll be pressing it. So this spot right here on the left, once that part goes off screen, that's the earliest, in my opinion, when I, whenever I do the skip, that is the earliest you want to press jump. But if you do it a little bit later, you risk missing it. And if you do it too early, you miss like being too short. So you kind of have to play with it some some more and like figure out what kind of works best for you but for me i um once i see that part go off screen that's usually when i'll press x here i press it a little bit later and i still barely make it so there's a little bit of leeway and you just have to find out what works best for you but that's pretty much the visual cues i use and then now we just pray and hope we land it and success and that is how you do crash landed skip hopefully this helps you out and if not <laughs> let me know down in the comments and then i'll try and explain some more this is a very like difficult skip to like explain there's a lot that can go wrong there's like so many things i didn't cover and issues but like just through like my experience in grinding out my attempts for so long i've um gotten somewhat consistent at it but i still fail it here and there so yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you out. And if not, I mean, I tried. <laughs> See ya.